Hello again, this is Apostle Patrick T. Randolph coming to you on another great day that the Lord has made. And I want you to know I care. I, am want, I want to continue to share with you on the main thought that we had on yesterday's session. And that is continuing to understand and know that I do not have to allow my mind to control anything. That every thought that comes to me, rather, let me just say it like that. Every thought that comes to me has no right to stay with me. I have the ability to cast away any thought that comes to me, amen, that I do not want. Now, if I choose, I can entertain those thoughts or I can choose to get rid of those thoughts. Well, how do I get rid of those thoughts? The main thing is, is shift the focus of what you're thinking on. Hallelujah. If the enemy comes to you with something that you don't agree with because you know the word of God does not agree with that or you know that it's not of God, then the thing that you do is, is find the scripture, amen, and repeat what God says about that situation and meditate on that and get rid of that evil thought that the enemy will try to bring against you so you're replacing the thoughts he brings with the word. Amen. And so that's how you begin to conquer or overcome every evil thought that would come against you. Because, again, if we don't get rid of those thoughts, then those thoughts become strongholds. Amen. I'll say that again. They become strongholds. So a stronghold is a fortress of human. Listen to this. It's a fortress of human reasoning reinforced with many subtle reasons. Let me say that again. Stronghold is a fortress of reasoning, of human reasoning, reinforced with many subtle reasons. Well, what do you mean by that? It's always a pretense of logic. Let me say it like this again. It's a pretense of logic. When you take what God is saying and then you say, well, that's not logical. Or you look at things in life when God is doing something or God is saying something, then in your mind you say, well, that's not logical. Well, let me tell you a secret. God's word is not logical. But he never intends it for you to walk in the, and understand it in your flesh so much as he wants you to deal with it by the spirit that presents it. Amen. That's why it's important for us to be filled with the Holy Ghost. That's why it's important for us to know God. And watch this. I'm going to use this word. Be synchronized with God. In other words, become one with God. Watch this. You can become one with God even in your thinking. Hallelujah. You know why you can do that? Because the word of God declares that we have, listen to me, we have the mind of Christ. If I have his mind, then I'm capable of thinking his thoughts. Hallelujah. So what we do a lot of times, we take scriptures and, and we use scriptures and we don't realize they are connected to other scripture. Okay. Just like in Isaiah where it says, my thoughts are not your thoughts. My ways are not your ways. That's wonderful. That's awesome. That's what the word declares. But that does not mean that your thoughts cannot become his thoughts, nor your ways to become his ways. Because when you obey God and you practice the principles of God, then you are, watch this, you are walking in his ways. Amen. And when you begin to, to, to use his word and use his word to direct your life, then guess what you're doing? You're allowing your thoughts, hallelujah, to become, or rather to come from him rather than just your own reasonings. Reasoning is, a, is, is in a sense, is, well, let me just say it like this. Reasoning can be devilish. Hallelujah. Why? Because you begin to say, well, if God said that, why this and why that, why the other thing? Well, don't make a reason out of it. Know that the Lord our God cannot lie. It's, not, it's impossible for him to lie. And therefore, I am not going to reason away what God said because of a circumstance, because of a situation, because of a threat or any other thing. I am not going to allow the enemy, listen to what I'm saying to you again, to make me get in human logic versus hearing God in the spirit. Very, very important. So again, that word I shared with you was synchronized. We want to be synchronized with God. We want to become one. Would you say one with God? Hallelujah to the Lamb, to the Lamb of God. So one of the things I want to emphasize to you this morning is that one of the ways that you will become synchronized with God is through your worship. When you worship God, you synchronize with God. You become one with God. And because you synchronize with God, then that's when the heavens begin to open up over you. That's when things begin to happen because you are synchronized with God. You are in, in, in total agreement with God. You are flowing with God. You're not in opposition, but you're in, watch this, in joint relationship, joint fellowship with God. Because you watch this again, you're synchronized. You know, Jesus said something very powerful. Jesus said, Father, I pray that they become one as you and I are one. 
What does that mean? That means he wants us to be synchronized together with the Father. Hallelujah to the Lamb. In other words, we want, he wants us to live a life, watch this, with God as the primary source of life. Amen? So that means I can be synchronized with God and therefore I can begin to experience and know the blessings of God because I'm one with him. Remember the word of God declares daily he loads us with benefits. The word of God declares that his mercies are new every morning. Hallelujah. And then not only that, but the apostle Paul even told us what to think on. Hallelujah. So if he tells us what to think on, listen to this. If he tells us what to think on, that means we have the ability to control our thought life. Hallelujah. So if the enemy tells you that you, you can't get well, you're sick and you'll never be well, then you know that it's, that's out of synchronization with God. Hallelujah. So we have to again turn around, make sure that we are synchronized because when that thought comes, I am going to cast that thought down and then I'm going to declare what God has said, that by his stripes I am healed and I'm not going to entertain any other prognosis from anybody because again, I am synchronized, I am one with God. I care. Mm -hmm.